we are going to go over how to insert a table of contents and how to insert section breaks and how to put page numbers in your policy manual. I have the manual typed already. Here's the title page and here's the policy manual. It is now 11 pages. What we're going to do, we're first going to put in a title a table of contents. I'm going to click before the P in policy manual and then I am going to hit control enter. You can't see me doing that, but the reason I'm hitting control enter is I'm inserting a page break and after this page break is where I'm going to put the table of contents. So I'm going to move my insertion point to the end of that that says page break. And the way I can the reason I see these codes is because I have this little backwards paragraph symbol checked. If I click off of it, it goes away. If I click on it, it shows me the codes that are inside of Word. So I'm moving my insertion point right before that little backwards P that is the page break. I'm going to hit enter. Well, it made another page, so I'm going to backspace and go back up there. Okay, I'm going to put that right there, and I am going to type the word table of contents. And then I want to make that a title heading so I'm going to select the title and I actually made a mistake I guess putting that page break in so I'm going to come back up here I'm going to hit delete to bring the title table of contents back up. I'm going to hit the enter key after the words table of contents. Actually I'm going to hit control enter so policy manual goes to the next page. See if I make a mistake it's pretty easy to correct it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come after this uh, page break and I'm going to insert the table of contents. I do that by going to ref clicking on the reference tab. I then click table of contents. I can select any of these. I don't care which one you pick. I'm just going to pick this uh, format. And what it did is it inserted the table of contents in this this um so I have an extra page break in there now I'm just going to hit the delete key to get that and I'm going to get rid oops I made a mistake made a mistake I'm going to hit the undo button all I meant to do is just backspace out this word contents that's all I wanted to get out of there I want to leave everything else in um so I now have my table of contents it automatically puts in the page numbers for me and it pulls from the headings and title page and all of that. I want this policy manual to actually be on another page so I'm going to click here in front of the P. I'm going to hold down control. I'm going to hit enter. It bumps it to the next page so it puts a page break in there. So now I have the table of contents. I want to put page numbers that are like II I on the table of contents. I'm going to click before the word T in table of contents. I'm going to go to page layout. I'm going to put in a section break. I'm going to hit the break and I'm going to come down and I'm going to choose continuous. So I have a section break in there. Then I'm going to go to Insert tab. I will select footer. I mean, I'm sorry, I will select page number. I am going to go to the bottom of the page. I'm choosing the one that the plain page number that goes in the middle. Now it shows that it is a two here, just the numeral two. I want that to be formatted I'm going to go over and click on page number here. I'm going to go down and click on format page numbers. And I want to choose the number format to be I, 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 etc. It says continue from the previous section. I'm going to say OK. Note that it changed that right there. I'm going to make that 
a little bit bigger so that you might be able to see it better. See the way that page number looks right there? It's II. Uh, let's go and see if it shows up on the title page. It sh we don't want it to. And it doesn't. And if I want to see why, I'm going to click here again where the um, page is. I'm going to go over to Page Layout. I mean, I'm sorry, insert, where it shows the uh, page number. Wait a minute. Page number up here. See where it says different first page? It says different first page and different first page is checked. That's the reason that it doesn't show on the title page. Well, I'm done with that. I'm going to close the header and the footer. I want to go on down and see what happens to the end of the page that is the second page of the title page. Well, it doesn't show there. So I'm actually going to go and click in the second page of the title page. I'm going to click on Insert. I'm going to click on Page Number. I'm going to click on Bottom of Page Number, and I'm going to go to Plain Number 2 to put in a page number there. So now I have a page number on the second page. Now, the thing is, is that... Sometimes it will just go ahead and show that. Now it also shows these numbers continuing under where it says policy manual. It goes on down and you see those numbers continue. I don't want those kind of numbers there. I want to say I want it to and I don't want them to even be at the bottom. So I'm going to come up to the where it says policy manual right before the P in policy manual I'm going to put my insertion point I'm going to insert a continuous page break section break and it's there if I go up to where the table of contents happens to be there I see it now I'm going to go down to that page and I want to get rid of that footer I'm going to go all the way down to this first page here. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to say, see where it says link to previous? I'm going to turn off the link to previous. So I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to delete that footer. I'm going to go back up and make sure that I did not delete the footer from the table of contents, which I didn't. Now what I want to do is I want to go to the second page of the manual. I'm going to click at the beginning, put my insertion point at the beginning of that page. Which is facilities. Then I'm going to insert page numbers again. I'm going to click on the Insert tab. I'm going to click on Insert Number. I'm going to click at the top of the page, and this is supposed to be over at the right, so I'm going to click right there. Now, look what happens. It numbers this as number 5 at the top. I want to click on where it says Link to Previous. It's highlighted now, but I want to click on it and make it unhighlighted. When I make it unhighlighted, it's no longer linked to the previous section. So I'm going to go over where it says page number under header and footer. I'm going to click where it says format page numbers. 
I am going to change the number format to be 123 and I'm going to tell the computer under page numbering to start at number 1. Now, the thing is I want to make sure that it says different first page under design and then I'm going to double click into the policy manual. I'm going to go back and I'm going to double check and make sure that I have no page number at the top of where it says policy manual. I do have a page number at the top of where it says facilities and equipment and the rest of my pages should also be numbered which they are. So now if I go back I want to look at my table of contents and see if it's numbered everything correctly and it looks like it has. My introduction starts uh, on page actually my introduction starts on page uh, one so it didn't number it correctly. What I need to do as far as the table of contents to renumber it I'm going to go back to where it says references I'm going to click where it says update table under table of contents and it says update page numbers only or do I and update the entire table? You would update the entire table if you had made changes to your document and there were different headings and different sections and different things like that. But I'm just going to click update page numbers only. I'm going to say OK. And it changed those page numbers to appear like they should be. So now we're done.